Through their own properties, protons, neutrons, and electrons, whatever they are made of, come together to form atoms. Atoms, by their attractive and repulsive properties of each other, come together to form molecules. And molecules interact with each other to form cells. By combining a great deal of heat and pressure to pyruvic acid and water, you can create an enclosure in which molecules have the protection which would, with which they could theoretically form cells. In the Miller-Urey experiment, they were able to briefly create some amino acids with water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen uh, by combining a lot of heat and pressure to the soup. Without a protective enclosure, the amino acids quickly get broken down in the very circumstances that create them. Bob Hazen's experiment with pyruvic acid uh, promises a solution, a protective enclosure. But however they're made, after the cells are formed, some will combine, forming a tissue, such as uh, algae or seaweed. This is a multicellular organism, but with only one type of cell. After that, tissues then combine to form multicellular organisms with multiple types of cells, all through the behavior of individual cells. The simple, crude, crude rule sets of cells results in them forming clumps of the same cells, then big time life with multiple types of cells. Then the organisms themselves get together to form societies. Things like schools of fish and flocks of birds are formed by the simple behaviors of individual birds and fish. Human crowds behave the same way. Each person pursuing his own rational self-interests allows the crowd to function as a single object. A line of people form as a result of one person simply following the other and trying to get through the crowd doing his own thing. There's no commandments. It just happens. It just emerges. Societies were built up this way. A man learns to farm, then realizes he can grow more by carrying water to his crops. Other men realize the same thing. They all get together and work out how to build an irrigation system uh, that will work for all of them. And they work together because this provides an economy of scale. Human society and civilization develop from there. It is an emergent complexity. It is not mandated from the top down. It is built up. The rational self-interest of individuals is what created irrigation, uh, any type of infrastructure, ports, harbors, larger ports were made when shipping companies got together out of self-interest to make larger ports and benefit from an economy of scale. Trade networks developed when individuals realized they could make money by taking goods from one area to another. All of the economic advances, the technological advances, were created by the interactions between individuals and their rational self-interest. So what is government? In short, it is a false certainty that stems from the misunderstanding of how the world really works. The first government was created by religion. This is not an accident. The first kings were said to be the embodiment of gods, that they channeled gods or were themselves demigods. This connection to the gods gave them the legitimacy to issue dictates with the mirage of certainty. This is the genesis of the state. It is the fantasy of certainty. It is built on a fundamental flaw in worldview, the flaw being a false assumption of a top-down order, when order simply stems from the interaction between things, be it molecules, cells, animal herds, or humans. The idea that human society must be ordered from the top-down stems from the idea that life itself was ordered from the top-down. The irony, of course, is that religion and the state themselves result from emergence. Each person wants things to be ordered and nice, and so each individual will take action to make his life ordered and nice. But unlike birds, men can imagine things like angels and gods. Man's imagination, which allows him to plan long-term and invent tools, also allows him to imagine genies and gods and pixies and good government. In fact, the rational self-interest of people in government is why there is inevitably going to be such abuse. It is in their self-interest to abuse and expand their power and create problems 
which can then be used as a justification for further expansion. The same principles that predict how life and human societies form also predict how government will abuse its power and also tell us why government came about in the first place. Society is built through voluntary interaction and rational self-interest. Government is nothing more than mystical false certainty whose origins are religious. The flock has been hijacked by charlatans claiming to know the way who attack anyone who challenges their magical certainty. Anarchists are the birds who see this. And pointing this out is not cruel. Pointing this out is not an assault on certainty. Pointing this out is an assault on false certainty. <laughs>